Matt, Libby, Emma, Brandy, and Trent have been best friends since the third grade. It's a random Thursday in the spring of their freshman year, and Chad, a popular sophomore, is having a party on Saturday. Last time at Chad's party, everyone was there, including some of Trent's new friends. These new friends, Trent, drank a little too much and got into some drugs that were more intense than he expected. A few weekends later, Chad is hosting another party and Trent is dying to go. Hey, did y'all hear about Chad's party this Saturday? This is the first I've heard of it. Sounds fun, though. Yeah, you'll definitely be seeing me there. Emma? Libby? Uh, I'm not so sure. Yeah, maybe we should all go and eat or something instead. Why? What's the issue? You know what happened last time? It was one time. I don't think Trent is that dumb. I don't know. I think he needs to be careful. We should all just not go. Yeah. All right. Okay. Matt and I have decided not to go. How about we all just hang out instead? Yeah, that works for me. Good idea. How about pizza? What? No. I already promised the guys I'd be there. The guys? Just some guys I've been hanging out with, like, after school. A.K.A. the guys that you've been skipping class with. Why don't you just come with us this time? Trent, who are these guys? It, it doesn't matter, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Have fun at your pizza party. Fast forward three years. It's graduation day. Matt, Libby, Emma, and Brandy are finally graduating. Trent slowly distanced himself from the group and over time developed addiction to harmful drugs. The group hasn't heard from or spoken to him since sophomore year. They are now all at a local coffee shop just hours before the graduation ceremony. I can't believe in just a few hours we'll finally be graduating. And then college? Oh. Uh. Honestly, I can't believe we all made it. Hey. hey. He doesn't mean us. He means... How long has it been? Sophomore year? I can't believe it's been so long. Do you think he's graduating? I doubt it. He had to repeat 12th grade because he failed all his classes. We should have done more to help. This isn't anyone's fault. These substances are designed to take control of your life. What about his parents? Didn't they realize? Well, he was close with his mom. She used to love when we come to visit. He shut them all out. Started hanging around with the wrong crowd. It's scary to think your whole life can be flipped upside down with just one choice. It's fall break of their sophomore year of college. They all end up at separate schools, so it's always great to reunite. However, at this time, they are all gathered for a much different reason. Brandy found out that Trent overdosed and passed away Friday night. It is now Sunday, and the rest of Brandy's friends are gathered for Trent's funeral. Hey guys, I'm so glad y'all can make it. Trent's mother really insisted. It was a nice service. I'm not sure what to say. It's all still so new to me. I think we all just need time to process what's going on. Are we sure it was an overdose? The doctors were pretty sure of it themselves. I wish we could go back in time and make sure Trent made the right decision. If he had, who knows where we would all be now. There's actually a program at my school called YPC. It's basically an organization to help those struggling with substance abuse and to give them the resources they need. All we can do now is help those who are still here to not go down the same path that Trent did. If you know of anyone in a situation similar to Trent's, reach out to a member of YPC, teacher, parent, or any other trusted adult immediately. You can also go to drugfreewillfield.org, ichooseme.net, or onechoiceprevention.org for additional resources. It doesn't matter the size of the situation or the level of danger they could be in. Say something. We are begging you to speak up. Help them. Who knows? You could possibly save a life.